Okay, here we go. It's time at last. After the very first episode, I left the decision of which of all these games to review up to you, the people. And the votes have been cast. Over 13,000 of you voted. And the game that I'll be reviewing is... The VCR WrestleMania game. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I did not see this coming. It's, out of all the games out here, the one you picked... Wrestling? Really? I mean, it wasn't even close. It won by, like, 1,500 votes. It's wrestling. Okay, I mean, I, 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 I'm the people's champion, and the people have spoken, so let's do this. Interactive VCR Games are the makers of NFL VCR Quarterback. NBA VCR Basketball. NHL VCR Hockey. And PGA VCR Golf. Oh, please, God, tell me I don't have VCR Golf back here. Do not send me VCR Golf. I will fucking stab you. And now, the main event, the VCR WWF WrestleMania game. This is exactly what the hammer likes to do, wear his opponent down like he's trying to do here to beat Kane. High lead by the barber, nicely done, from that man. Ah, oh, McMahon, you're not going to get a three count. On I could go an hour out there, Jess. Well, I'll tell you, you know, I'll tell you something. The pressure's on the slickster right now because his one man, the natural Butch Reed, is gone. He's going to be one unhappy manager if he loses the one-man game. Headbutt and both, right both between his the people eyes. go down in the first round. Switch to Reed would be a desperate individual here. Oh, beautiful headbutt. Okay. You don't get to pick the games anymore! Come on now, I'm won't you give me a go? Let me guess. I know. I think I know what you were thinking when you voted for this piece of shit. You know, it, it's not your fault. It's my fault because. I take the blame for this one, because you, know, you were looking at all these games, and they all look so colorful, and, and you saw this fuck heap, and then your eyes just lit up, and you're like, oh man, this one's going to be fucking hilarious, because all the other VCR games I showed you were really fun. They all looked like this. Never, ever come closer to me again, you maggot! So, you were probably expecting the same thing here, right? You put in the tape, and then you get all sorts of WWF wrestlers, like Hulk Hogan appearing on camera and yelling at the player to roll the dice and take cards and shit. <laughs> all you get is this! Oh, it certainly is, as they exchange left and right stuff underneath. Look out, atomic drop coming up. Oh, he nailed him with it. Over the top rope, and out of there! I'm surprised Andre didn't make an attempt to catch it. For two hours. He could take a beating or oh, he gets himself a, uh -huh, a little forearm meatloaf there, huh? 
two hours. Both men pouring out all the stops here. Look at this. Hit him with about a half a dozen blows there. Nice shoulder block. Sends the big outlaw down. They put no effort into this. The WWF put less effort into this than revamping ECW on the fucking sci-fi channel. What is it? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, the zombie. What the hell? A zombie? A zombie? The, 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 some, uh, what is this a rip? What is this? That's for sure. <laughs> anyway, that's seriously the whole tape. You pretty much just saw it. It's two hours of 15 second clips of wrestling matches. And really, only a few of them come from WrestleMania, specifically WrestleMania 4, which is widely regarded as one of the weakest WrestleManias of all time. At no point is there a single solitary second of original content on this fucking videotape. The video I'm making now literally had better production value the second I decided to turn on the fucking camera. Nobody rapes that on our watch. Let's get him! Ah! <laughs> ah! They made this video in, I don't know, 1980 fuck, and I'm probably the first guy in the world to actually work on it. That's why I decided to do a Kickstarter to make a real WrestleMania game tape, and a good one this time, you know, with an actual game on it, and the real Hulk Hogan as the gatekeeper. Hold on a second, Hulkamaniacs! Now tell me which player here weighs the least! I gotta send that player back down to the mid-card, brother, because Hulk Hogan does not job the little guys, dude. Now, all the other players gotta roll two dice, and the two wrestlers that rolled the lowest, you gotta draw a card from the Vince Russo deck, and you gotta have a match with the object on that card is up on a pole, brother. Now, the oldest wrestler who's somehow still around is me, brother, so all the other players gotta keep rolling the dice and losing turns until you can somehow still roll over my age, which is 476, brother. What's so hard about that? You couldn't get the Hulkster in a studio to read some geeky bullshit for two hours? Motherfucker will say anything for 50 bucks. Hulkamaniacs, the Hulkster here giving a shout out to the Green Lantern Corps message board and its members on behalf of Andrew NDB. I'm the real deal, brother. Sinestro, Blackhand, Atrocitus, what you gonna do when Hulk Hogan, Hal Jordan, Kyle Rayner, and Jeff Johns run wild on you. You couldn't get anybody? You couldn't get Jesse the Body Ventura to teach us the fucking game? Fucking Virgil was busy? Fuck you! Ooh, Beastmaster. <laughs> One day I'm gonna get that filthy animal. Can you imagine being a little kid again and being in a toy store and seeing this board game and you get so excited like wow a board game with Hulk Hogan like he's gonna be on my TV and talking to me like I'm playing a game with Hulk Hogan well obviously you can because you voted for it surprise asshole here's a match between Coco Beware and Dino Bravo instead shithead very very tough competitor oh what that's not what you paid to see you thought you were going to see Hulk Hogan? Well, no. Maybe you thought you were going to see Hulk Hogan slam Andre, that classic WrestleMania match, too. Well, where in the hell did you get that idea? Well, fuck that. That's not on this tape. Not on the VCR WrestleMania game. Please. Okay, come on. There's lots of other classic WrestleMania matches on this tape that you'll watch again and again with your friends. Like Coco Beware versus The Natural Butch Reed. George the Animal Steel versus Rick Gantner. And the Ultimate Warrior versus Hercules. Nobody cared. Nobody gave a shit. Somebody just shoved a box of tapes at an editor and told him to have a bunch of 15 second clips put together by the end of the week. Uh, hey, this is how you spell Don Morocco's last name, right? Like, the city, Morocco? I'm pretty sure that's right. Whatever, I don't watch wrestling. This was a total cash grab, but Christ, even for a cash grab I expected better. They played you, and do you see how easy it was? All they had to do was put Hulk Hogan on the cover, and everyone in the world got excited. Kids, you, me. It's just so easy. They could sell anything that way. 
They did sell everything that way. They sold ice cream bars that way. WWF ice cream bars. I'm dead serious. Fuck, they had no shame. Think of anything, the stupidest, most random, imaginary crap possible, and I'll bet you they could sell it. Like, fuck. Like, uh, rubber bath time toys shaped like the ultimate warrior's head that spray water when you squeeze them. Stuff that could never possibly exist, but if you made it, they could sell it. Ah, I am the ultimate warrior, and I come from part unknown with the greatest toy in the universe, the WWF Squirthead. The WWF Squirthead is a really real thing that actually exists. Finally, you can take the ultimate warrior's head with you into the bathtub with your children. Yes! Your child can play with Jake the Snake in the shower. You can collect Hulk Hogan, but don't collect Hulk Hogan because he sucks. Load the squirt head with the water, load it with the suds, squeeze the ultimate warrior's head until he squirts all over your children. Oh, yeah! Pump the ultimate warrior's head until he sprays all over your children. Ooh, the WWF Squirt Head is the new rubber ducky! I am playing with myself in the bathtub! I am not fucking kidding you! This was a toy that was actually made! The WWF Squirt Head is available wherever my toys are sold! So don't delay! Buy the WWF Squirt Head today! Except for the one with Hulk Hogan! The game is only for two players, which makes sense, I guess, if it's like a wrestling match. The rules say each player draws an interview card and reads it out loud, just like the WWF interviews you see on TV, and then rolls the playing die. The player with the highest number goes first. You read the card and you roll the die and... What the fuck is the point of the card? If you can read it, you're too smart for the game! It's time to shuffle the cards and I'll be the one holding the Ace of Spades. You want to play 21? I got 22. You want to play blackjack? I got two of those too. Oh my god, this is stupid. So then you draw some of these cards, which have wrestling moves and counter moves on them, and you get two face down referee cards, which are unknown to everyone. On your turn, you roll the die and either choose to move that many spaces forward or play an offense card. The names on the moves are completely irrelevant, you just care about the number, which is the number of spaces you move instead of the die roll. If you play a card that says it's an illegal move, it moves your opponent backwards instead of moving you forwards. If you're forced to go all the way back to the locker room, you lose. The only way to stop an illegal move is to randomly choose one of your referee cards, which is basically a coin flip. Either the referee card stops you from moving back, or he doesn't. That's it. And speaking of illegal moves, you know who else isn't on this tape from WrestleManias 3 and 4? Guys like King Kong Bundy, Junkyard Dog, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Cowboy Bob Orton, Nikolai Volkov, and one of my favorite heels of all time, how the hell do you leave this guy off the tape? The Iron Sheik? Fuck! You fucking spoon me one! You cheap juice son of a bitch! Find a fantasy and a favorite game! How you say these things about the Final Fantasy? You used to be fun, this Boonimo! You used to have a schedule at least the video! You used to have the wrestle wrestle! Now where is the video? Now you make the rest of stupid shit! You got to do the counter monkey! Now you do the fucking board games! Now you do the Final Fantasy! Now you do the shitty video series! Bring it back in wrestle wrestle! I put you in the camera clutch, I break your back, and make you hang and fuck your ass! No matter what you choose to do on your turn though, your opponent can play a counter move card, which basically screws you over or tells you to go to the VCR. You also go to the VCR if you land on certain spaces on the board. All this is just random chance. Each color is assigned a wrestler purely at random, and you watch a random clip from some random wrestling match, and at the end, you're given a random number of points. Usually, the good points are awarded to the wrestler who wins the match, or who has the advantage at the end of the clip, but other times it's just weird. Sometimes, a guy will be getting his ass kicked, and then bails out of the ring, and suddenly he gets a bunch of points. 
or sometimes they'll both get points. It just seems like the point values are completely arbitrary. Another thing that's really frustrating is that even if you care about the matches, and some of the matches are actually really good, especially the ones involving the Macho Man and Ted DiBiase, the problem is, is that they show you the clips out of order. Like in the Hulk Hogan and Million Dollar Man match. I think they show you the finish of the match first! I mean, come on! Andre the Giant is in the video, but he's absolutely wasted here because every clip he's in is in a match with Hacksaw Jim fucking Duggan. They use so much goddamn footage of Hacksaw Jim Duggan, it makes me want to fucking puke. They use clips from his match with him and Andre seven fucking times, and it sucks! I always fucking hated Hacksaw. What the fuck was his deal, anyway? As far as I can tell, his character is an unfrozen caveman they tested the Captain America serum on. The guy doesn't sell anything. He barely stays down when he gets hit with a fucking pile driver. I mean, what the actual shit is this? When Hulk fucking Hogan does a better job of selling a dude's offense, you are a shitty fucking wrestler! He's almost impervious to paint. Look at this, yes he is. I hate to keep harping on this, but if you're going to put one match on the tape with Andre the Giant on it... Look at this! He's it! Hello? What fucking flotilla of brain-dead windjammers made this fucking game? Acclaim? Ah, oh, son of a bitch! It was you! All along, Acclaim! I should have known this had come from the same assholes who made ECW Hardcore Revolution. Okay, so another way to win is, and you're going to love this... By count out. If you land on your opponent's space, you throw them out of the ring and they roll the die twice. If they roll a combined 11 or 12, they lose. That's it. You can lose on the first turn by count out. Now that's a WrestleMania main event right there. But the goal of the game, of course, is to reach the championship belt at the end of the path. Once you get there, if you have an offense card with a star on it, you pin your opponent and win the title. That's all you gotta do. But if you don't have a card with the star on it, you have to go back to the space before it and keep drawing cards until you get one. Well, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, you have to hit your opponent with a move devastating enough to put them down for the three count, like the patented Hulk Hogan leg drop or the Randy Savage elbow drop from the top rope or the million dollar dream or th headlock. Wait, a head you can win with a fucking headlock? You can win the World Heavyweight Championship by making someone tap out to a headlock. That would be the most surreal WrestleMania of all time. Just imagine if Randy Orton and John Cena were wrestling for the world title and Randy puts John Cena in a chin lock and all of a sudden Cena out of nowhere just starts tapping out like, oh Jesus, fuck, I give up. And then like Randy holds up the belt and is like, I've been trying that for years and it's never worked. Hey, but now I'm curious. Let's see what else will put a guy down for the three count. Well, oh, you land a suplex and it's basically over. Oh, but a fucking pile driver is not good enough, even though it does exactly the same amount of damage as a suplex. I, I guess if it's not good enough to put Hacksaw Jim Duggan down for a count of zero, a three count's out of the fucking question. Oh, but hey, an atomic drop will do the trick. Actually, I kid, but little known fact, did you know that Bob Backlund won his first ever Worldwide Wrestling Federation Championship using the Atomic Drop against superstar Billy Graham? Held the title for 2,138 days, second longest title reign in history just under Bruno San Martino, till he lost the championship to the Iron Sheik. Fucking fucking spoon! No! God, whenever I say his name! Fire My fucking dick is bigger than your arm! Cocksuck, you son of a bitch! Ah, 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 Did you know there's a Highlander movie being made? I bet you didn't know that! And Brian Reynolds is in it, oh my god! And Darkseid, the secret of the Yappapai Indian strap match is flexibility of the wrist, brother! Hulk Hogan! Hulk Hogan! You was a lucky dress man, you son of a bitch! Next time I put you in the gamble clutch and Fuck your ass! Exterminate! 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 Hey, wait a second! How come we're both WWF Heavyweight Champion at the same time, brother? I have no idea where I am right now! How did I get Let here? me tell you something, Lex Luthor. Me and all the Hulkamaniacs as the floodwaters rise. Mother friend! How do you do this? I read all the books and now this happened and now the world of I used to respect. 
back, you child Adam. I used to respect a game of Look at your boyfriend! No, 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 you, for God's sake, man, stay away from the children's bath time toys and focus on the fucking video games. What's a video game? You, stop making sex tapes. In fact, stop making sex altogether. And you, you never change. Iran number one, USA put there's only one good thing I'm taking away from this godforsaken video, and that's a promo from the Macho Man Randy Savage that somehow made its way into the video. It's completely out of place in the middle of all these wrestling clips, but it's the only untainted memory of a wrestling legend this game left us. I've been in the cyclones. I've been in the danger zone. Yeah, I've been in the danger zone east of the Pacific Ocean, west of London, England, south of Mars, and north of hell, yeah. Right? Is that guy great or what? He's one of my favorites of all time. So, hey, wherever you are, Macho Man, just know that you'll always have a fan and a friend. <laughs> Jesus! Ooh, yeah! Just when you think you knew all the answers, I'll go and make you forget what the question is, yeah! Yeah, but how are you even here? I mean... You kind of exploded. I, well, it kind of blew you up, but... Yeah, you're right about that. You are right about that. And let me tell you something. The apology that you didn't give me for the mistake that you made was very, very weak. But it's okay, yeah. I'm not even mad. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because macho madness will never die. Yeah! I've been in a cyclone. I've been in the danger zone. And I've brought back something for you. I brought you a present, yeah! You brought me a present? I brought you something you can really sink your teeth into, yeah! This is gonna be Slim Jims, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah! I mean, no! Not unless you want to, I mean. Slap into it! No, I don't want any Slim Jims! Okay, well, I got a game for you. A real wrestling game for you and all your counter monkeys out there. Yeah, I got a game for you. I got an RPG for you. Yeah, know your rule. It's a D20 system. Dig it! What? No! 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 Danger zone! No! 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 no!